And the Oscar could go to our next guest. Israeli director Guy Nativ gets nominated for an Academy Award for his short film Skin about the rising wave of neo-Nazism in America. Take a look. Snakes have many predators. You ready? So that's why they have camouflage. How do I know which ones are dangerous and which ones aren't? Snakes have colorful bodies. Were you f***ing with my kid? You were just looking at the toy. And they use that to warn predators that they're venomous. Careful with that, will you? He's a f***ing pro. Kind of feels like... If I was identifying a poison snake, I really want to look for the color. The brighter the color, the more venomous. Yes. And live from Hollywood is Guy Nativ. Welcome, Guy, and uh, congratulations. What an amazing honor. Thank you so much. Hi. How does it feel? It's surreal. Um, you know, it's like you make a movie it's a small movie made with a lot of love and our own finance, um, financed by us. And, you know, you send it out, you send it to the world, to film festivals, and you get, like, negative answers and you get some positive answers. And one festival is, like, a festival that is legit for the Oscars. And, and then you send it to the Oscars, and then from 2000 films you get into the into 100 and from the 100 you get into the short list with it which is the 10 and then you say to yourself okay so i i went to the 10. what's what's the what's the odds that we're gonna get to the five and then you are in the five it's 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 really surreal and i and you know it's not my first rodeo i have i've, I've done films uh, before with Aristotle moore um and you know I've done my own film, A Bull, The Flood, and you know, and, I, and I've been from festivals, but this is different. This is this is a, a level of surprising. We didn't think we we're gonna go, go in. Wow, amazing! And let's talk about the topic. Obviously, <laughs> we're seeing a rise of hate crimes this year in the news. There's being all of this struggle of racism and anti-Semitism. Well, I was I was uh, living in, in Israel until four years ago. I. I fell in love with an American a woman who is now my wife, uh, Jamie Ray Newman, who is my also my producer. We work together, we um, create together. And, you know, I moved to the States four years ago. And it's before Trump, before all this crazy mayhem uh, that happened here. And I was looking for an American subject that me as an Israeli I could relate to. And, <clears throat> and then I... And I uh, read the Haaretz paper in Israel in a coffee shop, and then I saw this article about a neo-Nazi skinhead that his entire face and body uh, was tattooed with uh, crazy tats. And I read his story and how he became a better person, and now he took off all those tattoos. And I and I told my wife, we gotta we gotta get this life rights because it's it's very really important. And we did. We went to uh, his home and. We met with them, and you know, I started writing these features, and no one in the states thought it's a good idea to give me money to make a, a you know, a feature about a skinhead neo-Nazi who became a better person. I thought it's fascinating, because and but people told me it doesn't, it really doesn't exist in the states. It's not even a thing. So while I was waiting for the feature to happen, I, you know, most of my films were shorts before um, Mabul was short at one 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 berlin and you know and and then strangers was a short film that i did with Aristotle Moore. so i decided to while i was waiting for the feature to make um, a short movie about racism in america and you know i read this article in the newspaper another article about a father who was kind of a racist neo-nazi skinhead who taught his son how to shoot a gun and to hate people and hate uh, african-american people and one night he came from a bar totally drunk and his son thought he is um, kind of a intruder african-american intruder and he took a gun and shot his dad in the head and that sparked sparked the short film that, you know, in Hebrew, there's a saying, um, which means um, that 
what your father ate, the bad fruit they ate, um, your kids, their, their kids' uh, teeth is rotten. And, and that was the concept of making this um, kind of short. And Sean Maimon, who is a screenwriter and amazing filmmaker, called me and told me his idea about the short. And we kind of we kind of did it together, and we wrote this this short little film. We shot it for a week, yes. and that's it. Wow. So now the feature film is going to be shown at the Berlin International Film Festival. <laughs> what are you hoping the takeaway message will be, and and what potential change could be made by people seeing your films? So first of all, the the feature film is going to be shown in Berlin, not the short film. The short film is going to the Oscar. The feature film that I in the meantime, I finished the, the feature film. It was in Toronto Film Festival, premiered there, and now it's going to go to Berlin. Um, <clears throat> so it, it has kind of a parallel um, course. Um, what was the question again? The takeaway message. What are you hoping you know, you'll be able to teach people and, and to at least create a possible change or dialogue toward that future? Well, I. I do think, look, it's a, it's a very important film to be seen. I, I truly believe that a lot of youngsters and, and, you know, the whole thing here in the States about gun control and and uh, violent, violence that, that America is suffering from, and not only towards Jews, it's African-Americans and, and, and foreigners and everybody. It's like, it's insane. I do think that people need to see this film because it's a, it's almost like it's, it's, you know, me as a foreign, I'm giving them a little a different point of view of their lives as Americans. And we're not, as Israelis, we're not that different, you know. Um, I truly believe that films can influence someone, but, you know, it's all about, if you ask me at the end of the day, it's all about education. It's all about education. I have a little girl now, a uh, uh, four-month-old baby girl that we are fortunate to have, and it's all about me, you know, teaching her what's right and what's Wow. Well, thank you very, very much, and we'll be pulling for you.